Okay, Google. Turn on the golden light. Okay, turning on the golden light. Okay, Google. Turn off the golden light and switch on the window light. Sure. Okay, Google. Turn off the window light and turn on the main light. Sure. Okay, Google. Turn on the bathroom light. Sure. Okay, Google. Turn off everything. Hello, Salam, Namaste, Adab, Sastriya, Kaal, Kem Cho. Did you just see what I did? I installed a new home automation system in my room with which I can control the lights and the fan. All this through Google Assistant. So you will wonder that I must have called some high profile electrician and I must have done some rewiring and I must have spent the bomb. But no, that's not the case. I spent a very little amount of money and installed this all by myself. So what all things do you need to install this? Let's check it out. So what all do you require? A wire, a good quality tester, a tape, screwdriver, wire stripper, nose plier, screwdriver, ah, none of this. All you need is just a good quality wire, a good tester and the smart switch. So friends, here's the box. It shows it's a four node switch. Uh, works with Alexa as well as with Google Assistant. It shows a price here, which is 499, but don't worry, you'll get at, at a 25% discount. It's a totally made in India product. And this side, the company has given the QR code to download the app to use with this product. So now let's see what's inside the box very simple it's a small cute little four node switch with four connections so we'll connect a fan here and three lights in the other three ports you need to connect the neutral here and the phase here these wires will then go into the respective manual switches so let's see how to install this For safety first you need to switch off the mcb before working with the electricity Never take chance. Now that we have switched off the MCB, let's open this bowl. So now that we have opened up the switchboard, you have to identify a few things. One is the phase wire, which is also called as a live wire. So where is the live wire going? Simple thing to understand is that a common wire is going through all of these. This is the phase wire. So you need to tap one of this. Second is you need to tap the neutral wire. So neutral will be the black color wire, which you can see here. These are the two main wires and rest you have to tap four other cables. That is by identifying which switches you want to convert into smart switches. Now I have identified these four switches of mine. So this procedure is very simple. All we need to do is remove the wire that goes in here of the line number one. Okay. And you need to put it into number one of the switch. One two, three and four as you can see here and this is the neutral, this is the phase or the live wire. So I'm going to fit number one, the switch number one which I have termed as into this number one switch. Okay. Of course I'm, I'm touching these wires uh, after making sure that they are not live. So 
so there goes number three and finally my fan now this video is just to show you that it's very simple to uh, install this smart switch you don't need any electrical background knowledge or anything as such it is just like plug and play okay so four three two and one all are fixed properly now what we need to do is we need to fix we need to connect these wires to the respective switches so um, we need to connect these wires so the coding is such that the black is switch number one brown is switch number two red is uh, three and uh, orange is four so these go into where we have removed them from so which was switch number one this one so we put this into switch number one now that all four are plugged in properly we will now uh, move into the uh, most important parts that is the neutral and the phase wire to connect the neutral and phase you need to you need to get two small wires like this I've already cut them to correct size and already uh, shaved off the top part. Uh, I'll fix them here now. So one goes to neutral, one goes to phase. It's better to uh, have a black colored wire for uh, neutral, but since I don't have a black colored wire, I'm going to use red only, but uh, it's better to use black so that it's easily identified later on. So fix this here live goes into live okay now you connect the phase uh, to any the neutral to any one neutral or oh, easier to do it here it is closer to me now is the time to fix the live wire that is the phase wire so uh, let's do it with this one which is closer and much more simpler so our circuit is now complete now we switch on the MCB to see how it works. Okay, so let's switch on the power. So now I switched on the MCB and you can see the light is flickering over here. This means that it is now into pairing mode. So uh, it looks like everything is now uh, correctly uh, configured. So it's now time to configure the app. So you need to download and install the app from either Google Play Store or Apple App Store. The installation process is very simple and you can set it up in less than 2 minutes. I have already set it up so I am logging in on another phone to show you the interface. You will be asked to provide location access and you can see here there are 4 switches. Make sure to rename them well so that it is easy to control via Google. So now that the pairing is done. Uh, we'll fix the board back inside. Now this is called as a retro switch. The reason why it's called retro is because it's so small it can fit into any of your uh, switchboards. You don't need to make any changes to your switchboard. So just to be on the safe side what I've done is I switched off the main power and now I will fit this in the board because safety should always be the first priority. Okay Google, turn on the fan and the golden light. Sure, turning on two switches. Okay Google, turn off everything. Okay, turning six things off. 
So you see how simple it is to install a home automation system. It's no rocket science. Now, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. If you have any questions about the product or any installation queries, do give me a message in the comment section below and I'll be glad to assist you. See you again in my next video. Till then, take care and stay safe.